All right, Leo, dude, I think we're almost there. Mikey, remind me why we're out in the desert again? Dude, Raph wants his pterodactyl to learn how to fly, but since there's a strict no flying policy in our sewer, thanks to Splinter, we gotta take him here in the desert, man. But why do we have to take him so far into the desert? Oh, look at that, dude. Come on, little bro, come on, you can do it, you can fly. All right, well, well, that didn't work so well, but I got a better idea. All right, I'm gonna give him a piggyback ride, and when I'm running forward, the wind will catch underneath his wings and he'll fly off, man. Mikey, I think this might be the worst idea ever. Dude, don't worry about it, bro, it'll work. All right, here we go, let's take off. All right, dude, feel the wind, feel that air, and fly, man. Anytime, bro, anytime you wanna fly. Come on, little bro, come on, fly off. Yeah, okay, just, just fly, man. <sighs> Boy, Mikey, you look tired, but you know, I think I have a better idea. Do, 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 do. So here it is, Mikey. How do you like it? Uh, dude, I, I'm, a, I'm a little confused, man. How's this pizza thrower gonna teach this guy to fly? Well, just watch this. You see, Mikey, as I shoot these pizzas out, he's gonna get hungry, and he's gonna fly over and eat one of them. Alright, Pterodactyl, the pizzas are all over the place. Now fly to one. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I do not think that worked, man. He just sort of walked over to one of them. Hey, come back, Pterodactyl. Dude, wait a minute. Do you see what's going on up there? Hey, 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 you let go. Dude, we gotta get it back, man. That big dinosaur took our little dinosaur. Uh, Mikey, that might not be the biggest concern right now. Wait, dude, wh what are you talking about, man? We gotta get him back. Well, why don't you look behind you? Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, 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 it's a, it's a cave turtle, bro. Check it out, man. Yeah, look at that. He kind of reminds me of Raph. Well, that ought to make sense why he's so aggressive and attacking us, man. Hey, Mike, I got an idea to get him off you. All right, you stand up and I'll shoot a pizza at him. Ready, go, now. Sorry, dude, the, the party's over. Huh? <laughs> Oh, take that, crazy Neanderthal turtle! Well, you really like that food, bro! Good thing we can uh, introduce pizza to one civilization at a time, man. All right, but now we gotta get our little pterodactyl back. Hey, Mikey, look. Wait, what now, bro? Dude, Leo, look at that, man. This big pterodactyl wasn't stealing our little dinosaur. He was teaching him how to fly. Good dinosaur, good pterodactyl. Yeah, that's a good little pterodactyl. Ah, ah, he's got my hand. Ah, let go, let go. Ah. Mikey, I'm starting to think. Maybe you shouldn't have any more pets. Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cave Turtle Raft with tubular pterodactyl. Now this comes with all kinds of accessories including a super sedimentary sigh, stick em stone spear, turtle textured saddle and reins, and a bronto band. And check out the art on this box, this is really cool, it's Caveman Raph swinging his sigh. And on this side of the box it's Caveman Raph riding his pterodactyl. And check out all the other classic Ninja Turtles that you can get with their dinosaurs. There's Mikey with his Stegosaurus, we've got Leo with his Triceratops, 
course, we've got Raph with the pterodactyl that we're featuring today, and then we have Donnie with the T-Rex. And this just gives a little description of the Stone Age collectible turtle. And now let's check out Raph, his pterodactyl, and his weapons. Now let's first check out Raph. Now he's got this grimace on his face and he has these huge muscly arms, probably from wrestling all of the dinosaurs down. He's got this grimace on the side of his face and he has this huge nose. Of course he's got his red bandana. And he's got this necklace here, a couple of dinosaur teeth in the bones. He's got the loincloth on with the R in front, standing for Raphael of course. The loincloth's pretty cool. Should be red, I think. On the bottom here he has cloths over his feet so they don't get hurt and his, even a toe is sticking out on one of them. He has bones for his knee pads, that's pretty cool. And even has a loincloth draped on the back of his shell. Okay, now let's check out this really cool and colorful pterodactyl. First of all, he's got this crazy looking beak there. It's a jagged beak so that he can bite into probably other animals. He even has a spike on the back of his head. And this head can spin around 360 degrees so that he can see above him as well. And check out this wing. These are cool because they're really bendable and flexible. They're blue on the bottom. You can see all the veins, all those red and pink veins on the bottom. We can also extend the wings outward, just have to pivot them. See now we have one wing extending outward and the other wing is pointing upwards as well. You can see the veins on the top of his wings as well, just green veins there. There's a TMNT logo on his leg, I don't know if Raph put it there or it was there before we got here. His tail is also pretty crazy, look at that, it looks like a spear at the end of it. But it doesn't really twist all that much. Now here's the other wing as well, bendable, it's the same as the first wing that we showed. He also has a saddle right here and it's kind of a shell saddle kind of like a turtle shell and he has his reins in his mouth there and he of course has the red bandana and the red knee pads to correlate with Raphael's color we have two weapons to show the first one is this prehistoric spear it looks like it was carved out of a tree and then the tip of it looks like a carved rock and then we have the sedimentary side this looks like rocks were taken and molded so that we had three points to the weapon and now I've placed the spear in one of Raph's hands, and I've placed the Psy in the other of his hands. These stick really well, so he can swing them around without dropping them. Okay, placing Raph on the pterodactyl is not too easy. The legs don't really extend outwards or move, so this is kind of the best that we can get with him sitting on his saddle. He's sort of sitting, standing. Let's extend one of the wings out from the pterodactyl and see if he can fly. Oh, it looks like Raph is now sort of laying back. Maybe he's enjoying the nice breeze while he's flying around with his pterodactyl. Let's see if we can get him to sit straight. Come on. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, let's put him back on. And all right, I think that's pretty good. All right, you guys, have fun. Take off. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the current Ninja Turtle toys or these classic Ninja Turtle toys. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day.